Hello and welcome to the workshop. In today's video, we're going to be machining the piston, the crosshead, and the connecting rod. Now, I think that might be a bit ambitious for one video, and time will tell. But I'm reliably informed by this book that they should all be done in sequence to retain concentricity, which is my new favourite word of the day. So, let's get started. The first thing to do is the piston. So yes, I have a piece of wood in the 3 drawer chuck and a t-shirt on the ways. I haven't gone completely mad. Actually, while machining the piston, which is part way done, I realized I hadn't lapped the cylinder, which might change the fit of the piston in the bore. I figured it's probably a good time to do it now. So rather than using the cylinder hone that you get on a, attached to a drill, which I did buy, uh, thinking it will make life easier and in fact it's the wrong size so I was totally correct in, in maintaining my original premise of vintage techniques. Um, I'm going to be using grinding paste on this lap, this expanding lap. There's a, uh, a couple of washers in there to expand it out. I'm going to feed the cylinder back and forth to get that surface nice and smooth. First, we're going to face this off, machine down to diameter and add some grooves. Then we're going to center drill and tap 5BA before parting off. One of the major changes to the published plans for the 10V that I'm going to take on board from the book is the use of uh, graphite yarn as a packing material on the piston. And that involves, rather than cutting three small oil grooves, it means cutting a larger three mil by three mil, uh, or one eight, in, one eight inch by one eight inch recess into the, the piston as a square groove. So I'm going to use my parting tool, I quite enjoy using that. I've moved it up to the face, I've moved it across 62 and a half foul. So we've got 62 and a half foul, 125 for the um, parting tool, and then another 62 foul gives me a quarter inch total depth. going to thread the end of this rod with this tailstock die holder. I'm not really impressed with this, this is a commercial item, but this uh, this bit here doesn't rotate. So uh, although it fits in my tailstock uh, drill chuck, I either have to have it loose enough that the whole chuck vibrates, uh, rotates around in, in the 
tail stock holder or have to have the drill chuck slackened off so this can rotate inside the drill chuck but either way it's a bit crap really i've threaded and deburred the end of the piston rod so this is the crosshead end let's see if the crosshead fits Here is the piston rod in its machine state. This groove here for that graphite yarn. These were all very simple turning operations. It was turning this to outer diameter, cutting the groove, parting off, um, drilling a hole, making the piston rod with threaded on both ends, and then using that as a mandrel to turn this uh, crosshead. Uh, that said, having to do it, I, I messed it up a few times. Um, the first one of these you saw in a previous video. Uh, I then tried to turn this side here and then I miscalculated the width of the groove and it would have been much too small and then I couldn't get the tool in to part it off. So yeah, I had to make this piston quite a few times. Here is the completed crosshead piston and piston rod assembly. Really quite pleased with that. It's quite free moving. Um, I'm not holding the pieces very well. Um, it might need a bit of bit of filing, um, but generally, I'm really quite pleased with how that's turned out. <laughs>